Hello, my name is Muhammad Zahiruddin and I am from RK20. I am going to present my thesis with the title of AI-based schedule optimizer. Current year is 2021. We are already in fourth industrial revolution and AI is used almost everywhere. But sadly, it is not used for some factory scheduling yet. Previously, NASA and airline company did use AI in their scheduling, but that is for large scale. So that's why this thesis exists. It is aimed for smaller scale scheduling optimization with factory being its main focus point. A typical factory will have multiple product and multiple machine. Each product need to undergo a unique set of process. And a machine can only process one product at a time. So previously, the schedule for the testing procedure is done manually. But now we are about to schedule it automatically. There is three main objectives of the system. The first one is to develop a front panel to manage machine and product. Then it can also generate schedule and view schedule. Secondly, the objective is to develop an AI-based scheduler that can optimize a schedule. And finally, we will analyze the performance of the system. I will go through literature review and methodology quickly and focus more on result and discussion. Literature review. In the 90s, NASA used neural network to generate celestial event schedule for Hubble telescope. In 2008, the founder tried to use genetic algorithm for aircraft arrival sequencing and scheduling. Both of this research is for large-scale scheduling. Next, methodology. The development process of the system can be split into three parts. The first one is the front-end development, which is the GUI or control panel. It is built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Second one is the back-end API and database. This is used to store data and interact with the data. It is built using PHP and SQL. The last one is the computation part. This is where the actual scheduling and the optimization is happening. It is developed using Python. Now, this is the general flow of my system. The scheduler will take machine detail, product detail, procedure, etc. and process it and produce an output which is our optimized schedule. Then, it will save the schedule into our database. There is only one user for the system who can manage input, trigger scheduling, and view schedule. For the optimization part, I will be using normal genetic algorithm to optimize the first-come, first-serve schedule. The fitness score of this genetic algorithm will be evaluated using schedule ending time, product waiting time, and machine idle time. Result and discussion. The front page functionality will be demonstrated. Then, the optimized schedule and the non-optimized schedule will be compared. The front panel enable user to manage machine, manage product, manage process, initiate scheduler, and view schedule. The manage feature consists of basic CRUD function where user can add, read, update, and delete items from respective table. The initiate schedule will call a PHP file and the PHP file will execute a Python code. This Python code will read machine list, product list, and product process list from the database. Then, it will save the data into a proper structured list so that this product list can be processed by the schedule. Then, the list is shuffled and duplicate 10 times to create the initial population. For each of the list, one schedule will be created using first-come, first-serve algorithm. The best list will be used to generate another 10 chromosome for the next generation. It will repeat on loop until 200 generation. All of this is the genetic algorithm optimization part. After the schedule is optimized, the schedule will be saved in a JSON file and be updated into the database. Then the user page will be automatically refreshed. And then user will be able to see the updated timetable. So that's all for the front end. And now we will move to the comparison between normal first come first serve schedule and genetic algorithm optimized schedule. Graph 1. GA schedule take more time compared to the first come first serve schedule since it will generate multiple schedule and compare with each other. So it will take around 1 hour to schedule a 1000 product. It is good enough for 200 product where it only take around 15 minutes to complete the scheduling. The time complexity for the normal scheduling is big O n. Meanwhile, the complexity for the GA optimization is big O 200n. Then for the total duration, we are able to see that GA scheduler produce a schedule with 4 hour quicker finish time compared to normal scheduler. This is because the machine is already at the maximum capacity, so there is no further optimization that can be made. And then machine idle time. 
Suppose that a factory have 50 machine running at, at the same time, a normal schedule will waste around 250 machine hours. This is obtained by 50 machine times 5 idle hour on average. But as we can see, GA scheduler have a very low idle hour and it even reach 0 idle hour. This means that the factory will have 100% productivity where all of the machine is running and none of the machine is sitting and doing nothing. And then, the next one is the average product waiting time. Normal scheduler will result in a product that has high waiting time. For an example, at 300 product count, each product need to wait around 40 hours to be processed. This is almost 2 days. Unacceptable. But, by using GA optimizer, a product only need to wait around 22 hours, which is less than a day. So, we can see that GA scheduler is able to cut the product waiting hour by 43% to 46% consistently. And finally, efficiency. Assume that we have product as follow, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Each product will need to be processed by machine A, B, and C. Assume that each process will only take 1 hour. So, the total machine hour that we need is 12 hour because 4 times 3 is 12. So, in this schedule where we produce using first come first serve method, where P1 has the highest priority and P4 has the lowest priority. So, it will produce a schedule that takes 5 hours and have on average 1 hour machine idle time. So, this schedule actually takes 15 hours where we actually expect 12 hours. So, it has the efficiency of 80%. But by rearrange P1, P2, P3, and P4 priority, we can have a schedule optimized like this. The schedule only takes 4 hours, which result in 12 machine hour time. So we expect to use 12 hour, and we actually use 12 hour. So this schedule actually have 100% efficiency. So as we can see, by using GA scheduler, we can achieve almost constant 100% efficiency. While for normal scheduler, it have lower efficiency. But when we have thousands of product, the delay of 4 to 5 hours is ignorable. So in a huge product count, a normal scheduler might have a high efficiency too. To summarize my result, I made a comparison table between the schedule produced by first come first serve algorithm versus the schedule generated by optimized GA. So the normal schedule have big O N complexity and GA optimized scheduling complexity is big O 2000 N. The schedule optimized by GA has 2% to 15% lower duration. Then, the schedule optimized by GA has 85% to 100% less idle time. After that, schedule generated by GA has 43% to 46% shorter product waiting time. Finally, the schedule produced by GA have consistently higher efficiency. So that's all for my result and discussion. So, in conclusion, GA optimizer is able to optimize a schedule significantly. The first objective of this project is achieved by developing the front panel. Next, the second objective of this project is achieved by completing the GA optimizer and scheduler. Then, the last objective of this project is achieved by making analysis and comparison between the original schedule and the optimized one. By completing all of the project objectives, I have successfully developed a schedule optimizer. In future, a better algorithm with lower complexity can be used to optimize the schedule. So, that's all for me and this is my project, Schedule Optimization Using Genetic Algorithm. Or the long name is develop an AI-based scheduler optimizer to plan the loading of material through complex and high mix test process. Yeah, thank you.